Smiley from The Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for December 2023. So on December 4th, we are going to see Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, move out of her rulership in Libra and energy and dive into the deep, dark waters of Scorpio. So first of all, I'm going to recommend that you listen to December's energy forecast, the intro that I put out there, if you haven't listened to that already. I'm going to recommend that you download your Zodiac forecast so that you understand where this particular transit is taking place in your life. And of course, if you already have downloaded the Sagittarius Season E guide, then you're going to want to flip to this particular transit, really capture where it is that your heart is at, some of the relationship dynamics that are popping off, just to give you a good idea on where it is that there's going to be a new truth revealed to you on where it is that some relationship dynamics have to go. And some relationship dynamics definitely need a little bit more time and energy if they're going to stick around. So first of all, we kind of have to understand that Scorpio energy is a fixed water sign. So things are going to get intense. Things are going to get passionate. Now we have to understand as well that the time in Libra energy, Libra energy is a very shallow realm of existence. We want everything to be happy, go lucky, but we're very surface level. We don't want to take our emotions too far, too deep. That gets totally pushed out of the way once we jump into Scorpio energy. There's a lot of shadow work that needs to be done. Now, of course, Venus, her main priority is relationships. Secondary to that is her happiness, is her joy, is her pleasure. And third to that is her money matters where, of course, long-term goals are concerned. When we're talking about the relationship dynamic in Scorpio energy, we want an all-consuming, soul-merging connection with the people that we're sharing time, energy, and space with. We don't want superficial connections. We want intimacy. We want commitment. We want to know people on a spiritual level. Now that can be a good thing because of course it puts into perspective where it is that we are kind of craving for deeper connections, but it also puts us in a not so good place because we're looking at our existing relationship dynamics and may actually realize how shallow, how surface level they actually are. Scorpio energy being the shadow work that we have to do is going to take us on a little bit of a deep dive into the deepest, darkest parts of our passions, of our desires, of our sexual urges, our cravings, if you will. But equally, we are going to realize in that epiphany what is preventing us from actually going after the things that we know that we're craving, that our soul is absolutely yearning for. So just as we realize what our true happiness would be, be, we also kind of come to a realization on where the pain, the trauma from our past experiences is kind of blocking us from going after what it is that we want. Even more than that, we're fears, doubts, and insecurities within ourselves. So low self-worth, low self-esteem, really pushing us back into the darkness, not confident enough, not deserving enough, not worthy enough to actually align with the things that we know that our soul would be very happy to align with. Of course, this is all a quote unquote delusion. This is a program that we have to kind of do a deep dive in, understand where those seeds have been planted. And again, give us an opportunity to flip the script into something more powerful, something that kind of leads us to believe that we can close the door on the aspects that have been holding us back and we have the power to stand in a new doorway to open up an opportunity for us to actually align with something of a higher vibration, higher frequency that is very much in alignment with our soul space. Now, there's an extreme type and emotion that takes over while Venus is in Scorpio energy. This is going to be a time where, again, if you are in alignment with some of the relationship dynamics that are fulfilling that soul merging void within you, then you're going to be all consumed with this particular individual, this particular energy, this particular energy exchange. But if you're left kind of high and dry and realizing that you don't have any relationship dynamics that kind of fit that bill, you're likely going to be kind of moving into a state of loneliness, a state of isolation, realizing that you are really kind of yearning for something that you haven't stumbled across as of yet. The Scorpio energy likes to kind of show us where it is that we have a lot of deep passions, deep desires, deep fears that are 
in our unconscious programming, constantly putting us in a situation to make decisions based off of a program that we're not actually in control of. So again, the shadow work is needed in order to unearth these particular realizations so that we can bring them into our awareness and definitely flip the script on them if we so choose to do that. And again, it requires a lot of boldness, a lot of bravery, a lot of courage to do these types of things. So this is a very emotional position for Venus to be in. She's out of her depths, technically, because she likes to stay in the shallow end. She's definitely in the deep end at this particular point in time. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of sensuality. There's just an overwhelming, intense energy. Now, yes, our relationships are very, very important to us, but we can't let them consume us, even the good ones. That's where, again, the soul merging connection does kind of take us into a realm where we lose ourselves in the energy of other people. And of course, just a reminder with the nodes of the moon on this Aries and Libra and axis, the whole point, karmically speaking, is for us to learn where it is that we have to know where we end and other people begin, especially when it comes to our energy. So there is this, I'm going to say, darkness that will take over, especially at the beginning of this transit. We are going to kind of see that middle ground be met where there is a light at the end of the tunnel when we reach this halfway through this transit. And again, if you listen to the December energy forecast, then you would know that we have Venus on the move at the end of this month as well. So it is going to be about a three week transit and we are definitely going to feel the darkness as we enter the balance middle ground as we meet that halfway point in the Scorpio energy. And then we get to see the light at the end of the tunnel as we get closer to Sagittarius energy. What we will be revealing to ourselves, the hidden truth, the peeling back of the layers around our heart space, it's going to be equally as profound as it could be disturbing. It could be mysterious and totally unusual for us to even have the kind of attraction, the kind of craving, the kind of passion and desire for things that typically speaking don't fit our particular stereotypical mold of what it is that would actually capture our attention. And this is going to put us in a little bit of an interesting situation. Again, we are in Sagittarius season to explore this new version of self, these new passions, these new ideas, these new urges and cravings. So of course, there's always highs and lows as we go through these particular cycles, these particular transit. Um, there is an element where if we're not fully developed in our healthy feminine energy, we are going to be sitting in a lot of fear fear of not being loved, not being worthy, not finding our person, not finding that soul merging connection, fears of being too vulnerable, too open, uh, fears of being hurt. So there is this element because Scorpio energy is ruled over by Pluto and Pluto is all about power. There's this element of realizing where it is that we've given our power away to the people that we love, where it is that we need to take that power back in order for us to, to stand in our true, real, raw, authentic selves. And again, really kind of taking a good look at those boundaries that we have to put up in even the healthiest of relationship dynamics so that we don't continue to put our own wants, needs and desires, our own individuality on the back burner to take on the qualities, the characteristics, the traits of those that we are spending time, energy and, and our space with. Because Scorpio energy is a very extreme energy, kind of like an all or nothing type of energy, those relationships that have been popping off, that have been kind of, you know, disconnected, discontent, kind of all over the place, especially since the eclipse season, we may see a finality, an ending, a closure come to some of these relationship dynamics where there is going to be a separation. We could also see a reconciliation. We could also see an overwhelming attachment be formed based off of the fear of not wanting to be alone. So we all have to be very mindful of our energy. We have to step back, act as the observer without being emotionally attached to the people that, again, we're currently attached to in order to see ourselves, our own energy, the division 
the separation and the unification of the relationship dynamic to figure out what needs to be tweaked. So this is definitely going to be a super revealing transit for us, especially when it comes to our relationships, but also where it comes to our self-worth, our self-value, where it is that we are at in our current healing journey. And of course, Venus, who is all about relationships, we have a lot to learn about ourselves through the relationship dynamics that we are choosing to pour time, energy, and attention into.